Well, Chris, you'll be aware of uh, the recent media um, and the statement from Anil Ahmed Hodzic. Um, given his, well, different issues, how is he today? Yeah, he's OK. Um, I should imagine it's something that he didn't really want to deal with, but he has to, has to deal with it in his own way. So you have to respect that. I respect that, uh, not just as a footballer, but as a, as a human being as well, how he's feeling um, deep down. So, you know, and I've done great here since he come. Um, it was a great signing. And, um, you know, we, we talked about it, obviously, second part of last season where he was off it a little bit. Um, so um, I think, you know, I think, you know, when, when, you, when you look at footballers as well, you know, supporters see them on a, on a Tuesday night and a Saturday afternoon. There's quite a lot of other things happening in their lives, um, which you have to respect as well. So uh, and I, on one thing that I will, I, I do know is that he'll get the full support of myself and the coaching staff and his fellow players. Um, he's a popular guy. Um, and, uh, and most importantly, I think the Sheffield United fans are seeing are seeing this as well, seeing this all unfold as well, and I'm sure they'll get they'll get uh, they get right behind him, and he'll get their their full backing um, starting on uh, starting on Friday night at Old City. Is it, or would it be too simplistic to say that what was going on in, you know, in his private life might have had an effect on how he was during the season? It would be perfectly understandable. Listen, there's, there's, there's a lot of moving parts to this. You know, when you know you're talking about Champions League clubs coming in for you as well, and you know, is he going to go? Isn't he? I think everybody has to respect that as well. That it's not a bad move that for him um, to go from Sheffield United, which you know he'd done well and uh, he earned the right for the likes of Napoli and the other clubs that were being talked about to be interested in him. So. That is not always easy. I've talked about it this pre-season as well with other players as well. Uh, and so, you know, you, players have to come through that. I suppose from a playing point of view, um, you'd rather have speculation about you uh, than not. Uh, uh, you'd rather have talk about you than nobody talking about you. So I, I, I understood it at the time as well. And we talked him through it. Um, you know, it was... It was I don't know if the right word, disappointed if the deal didn't come off. Um, I suppose he's got ambition. I want everybody to have ambition, players to have ambition. I'm ambitious uh, for, for, for our football club to get back to where we want to want to be. Um, footballers have to have ambition themselves. So, And it's not a sideways step, is that? So when that didn't come off, when that didn't come off, um, you know, he has to get himself back to, to playing. It was a disappointing second part of the season and he understands that and we had a lengthy chat about it, uh, you know, during that period and, and, and uh, at the end of it. Where do we go from here now? Um, he's playing really well. Um, he's, he's, uh, he, he's, he's, he's settled down. He's made his statement. He wants to concentrate on football. I want to concentrate on football and hopefully we'll get performances out of him as we have done uh, so far this season. Outstanding against Preston. Outstanding, um, good against QPR. Uh, Mr. Norwich game because he was ill, um, and I thought he was he was excellent against Watford. You know, and his desire for for that recovery run to get back and make that tackle, his his overall general play. Uh, we want him here. Uh, he wants to be here, as he said. And uh, fingers crossed, we can keep producing performances like he has done, which will certainly help the team in terms of getting performances and results. He'd uh, made a reference in this statement to having some kind of physical injury. It didn't sound particularly serious. I mean, is he is he all right to play tomorrow? Yeah, we've got a few doubts. Um, we've got a few doubts uh, amongst the group, as, as, as you can imagine. Um, but I'm not going to give anything away. Um, and um, we'll do our best to get, um, get the boys that are doubtful right for, for Friday night.